Hi, Hawkeye fans. Welcome back. Another Hawk to Hawk interview coming your way. Today, joining me from the men's tennis team is head coach Wilson. Coach, how are we doing? Pretty good. Great to be here with you. Good. Yes, it is nice to have some human interaction outside of my husband, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's been a tough couple of weeks, but I think we're all getting through it. Yeah, absolutely. Have you been kind of keeping in contact with your team? How's that been going? Yeah, I mean, we have a group chat, you know, we're all on there regularly, just kind of keeping up on what we're doing day to day. We've got some workouts for the guys, a um, little, little competition our assistant coach uh, thought up. And so we're doing that and obviously keeping up with their schoolwork and, and everything. So, so yeah, we're a pretty close team. Um, guys are keeping in touch with each other pretty regularly. So it's it's been good. You guys have a lot of international athletes on your roster. So um, once the decision was made to cancel the season, were all the athletes able to get back home safely? Were some of them uh, having to stay here? What was that transition like? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of a scramble. Um, you know, the season got canceled, and literally two or three hours later, there was a travel ban for the UK, which is where all of our international players are from. And so they were all trying to get flights home in the next couple of days. And luckily, they all were, were home within two or three days of that. And so they're back with their families, which is, which is really good. And um, yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely uh, something that just came out of the blue and um, luckily they all got back. We finished the season, the partial season as it is, 12-2 um, and two on pace to qualify for the first NCAA tournament in school history. You're ranked as high as 20th nationally. What can you say about this team and, like I said, this unfortunately partial season? Yeah, I mean, un first of all, unbelievable group of guys that we've had. Um, you know, guys, they just really put everything they have into this and put the team first, and these guys have been committed. I mean, our seniors have been here. Kareem Aloff, who played number one for us, this is his fifth year. Um, Jason Kirst, who played, finally cracked our lineup, was was consistently playing in our top six as senior that's been here for four years and was kind of in and out of the lineup. And these guys have seen our program go from 70 in the country to, to number 20 in the country. And um, I, feel, I feel for them not to be able to finish it, especially on the traje trajectory that we were at. And um, they were excited about the Big Ten season. You know, thought we really could have a chance of being top four in the Big Ten and certainly be in the NCAA tournament and, and possibly even win a round. You know, I felt like this was the best team that we've had at Iowa in the seven years that I've been here. But, um, you know, unfortunate circumstances happened. And um, I think the guys understand that, but they're excited for the possibility of coming back next year. Yeah, you mentioned Kareem Aloff there in the beginning. Uh, he was on the verge of making history before the season was cut short. Uh, can you just tell our fans uh, what kind of achievements he was chasing at the time? Yeah, I mean, this, this is a guy that, I mean, he has put so much into his tennis, so much into his school, so much into Iowa since he's been here for, you know, it's, it's crazy to think he's 22 right now and he's been here for five years. So he spent, you know, almost a quarter of his life here with us. Um, but he was on pace to becoming the winningest player in the history of um, our program in singles and um, combined singles and doubles victories. And he was ranked number 52 in the country and uh, was on pace to make the NCAA tournament and, and possibly with the level that he could play at, become our first ever All-American here at Iowa. And I want to talk with two about um, Will and Oliver. They were on uh, one of the top doubles teams in the country. How was their season tracking before the season was cut short? Um, you know, I caught up with uh, Oliver there for our 24 Hawkeyes to watch segment. And he had, I mean, incredible things to say, first of all, about you and the team and of course about his doubles partner, Will. So, um, you know, how are they doing? Yeah, I mean, they, again, another team that was having a historic season. I mean, they were number 12 in the country, um, had been as high as number 10, had two wins in the top 10 in the country, again, on pace to be all Americans as well, um, and possibly even be seated at the NCAA tournament at the end. So, um, you know, which, which would have been, you know, for us, it's, it's kind of where we've been working towards. It would have been unbelievable for us to have three players be named all Americans where we've never had one in the history of the program. Um, but those guys were, again, having a great season, playing number one doubles for the second year in a row. Um, Kareem Aloff playing number one singles for the second year. I mean, those are two staples in our lineup where we got a lot of wins from. Um, but can't say enough about those guys as people and the work they've put in and the commitment they've had to, to our university and everything they've done for our team. Yeah, now just kind of, I know it's kind of tough to right now look ahead to next season, of course, but um, you know, looking ahead, if we can, 
Um, how are you going to try to take this momentum, all of these good things that were happening and carry that into the next season? Yeah, I mean, obviously next year we're hoping to have um, a couple of our seniors back, which will give us some leadership, but also the guys on the team that were sophomores and juniors, that's just another year of experience for them um, and for them to, to move into some leadership roles. And, you know, I think our goals have been pretty similar every single year since I've been here. You know, we want to be in the NCAA tournament. We want to be able to win rounds. We want to be able to compete for a Big Ten title. Um, you know, we want to have guys playing in all the national events in fall and Obviously, the NCA is at the end of the year, and that starts July 1st. Um, that's really when we start our season. The guys will hopefully be back. Who knows what will be happening with travel bans and NCA rules and things like that. But hoping for them to be back on July 1st so that we can start working towards uh, the fall and spring season of next year. So when you're having these meetings with your team, um, what kind of messages are you sending to them as you know, kind of their leader and the person that they look to on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, what kind of positive or uh, reinforcing messages are you sending to them? Well, I think first and foremost, I mean, the social distancing part of this is, is so important. The things that they hear on the news and obviously they're in, in the UK and from their country's leaders. I mean, for us to get through this and to get through it as quick as possible, I think that's something that we all need to do. So um, tennis is something that can be on hold and, and, and working out and things like that um, just so that we can get through this tough time and just assuring them that, you know, this is going to pass and everything's going to be fine and we'll be back to normal here uh, sooner than later and um, just to be focused on their studies. And I think they've, they've responded really well to that. Obviously, they're all home with their family, so they've got a really good support system there. Um, like I said, the group chats that we've had, um, guys are keeping in touch with, with um, the guy, their friends on the team and then obviously their other friends at home. So I think our guys are handling it well, obviously disappointed, but, um, you know, they understand what the situation is and I think they're really looking forward to getting back on the courts and for life to be, uh, be normal again. Yeah, absolutely. I think we all are. Um, lastly, here, are there any thoughts or messages that you want to send out to the Hawkeye fans in general? Well, my, my wife uh, would be upset if I didn't say, uh, again, social distancing. She's uh, in charge of a health program at the VA, and so she's been working uh, pretty diligently on the telehealth side of this um, for some of the cities hit pretty hard around the country. So social distancing, keeping, your, keeping a positive attitude. Uh, if you want to see some Hawkeye sports, you probably can turn on the Big Ten Network. I'm sure they'll have some of our games being replayed, but uh, there's no doubt that we'll be back to normal soon and, and better than ever. All right. Well, Coach, thank you so much for your time. And please pass this message along to your wife that um, myself and all of Hawkeye Nation, as well as the athletic department, that we appreciate all that she's doing for all of us. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'll let her know. All righty. Thank you, Coach. Thanks again for your time. We cannot wait to see you guys back on campus. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it.